Only eight athletes out of the invited 15 lined up for the women's 10,000 meters final, which got the national trials at Neo Stadium up and running. In the final eight laps, it proved to be the battle of four elite athletes featuring reigning world cross-country champion Irene Chiptai, Africa 10,000 meters champion Alisa Prot, former world cross-country champion Agnes Tirop, and former world junior champion Veronica Naruai. In the last 800 meters, the contest was between Chiptai and Tirop as Aprop trailed in third. The 2015 world cross-country champion had the perfect kick in the home stretch to win the race in 31 minutes and 56 seconds as Chiptai came in second. <laughs> Approach completed the podium positions as the trio won the tickets to London. Now I got a team at track. This is my first time, so I thank God. Little known Cyrus Ruto, who finished third at the Rio Olympics trials last year in Eldoret, but was omitted from the national team due to lack of experience, silenced his critics by winning the men's 5,000 meters final in 13 minutes and 31.5 seconds. <laughs> Former World Junior Champion Davis Kiplagat came in second as Geoffrey Koech finished third. However, Koech was disqualified due to an infringement during the final lap, gifting fourth place Josephat Kiprono the last podium position. <laughs> A heated men's steeplechase final pitting Rio Olympics champion Conceslas Kipruto and 2014 Africa champion Jairus Birech is expected on Saturday after the duo comfortably won their respective semi-final hits. Kipruto is aiming for his first World Championship gold medal after settling for silver in the previous edition held in Beijing in 2015. <laughs> World champion Ezekiel Kemboi, who will not feature during the trials, has a wild card from Ida Boy F, along with all reigning world champions. <laughs> world 4x800 meters relay gold medalist Ferguson Rotich registered the fastest time in the men's 800 meters semi final heats. Rotich will face experienced Alfred Kipketer and London Olympic bronze medalist Timothy Kitum in the final. However, it was a disappointing outing for Africa high jump champion Matthew Sawe, who fell short of qualifying for the World Championships. Sawe managed 2.20 meters from the required 2.30 meters qualifying height. However, the five-time national champion might get a wild card from IWF by virtue of being the Africa champion. All the remaining finals will be held on Saturday, the same day the national team that will compete at the World Championship in the UK will be named here at Neo Stadium. Seth Olale, NTV, Nairobi.